Tonight, a child abduction leads to stunning, gut-wrenching car chase like you have never seen before. It's all caught on camera. Pittsburgh cops say this guy, 21-year-old Jared Brown Garnum, took off with his ex-girlfriend's eight-month-old baby. That's right, this innocent, precious child after having an explosive argument. Now, we're going to take you through it. It starts with the surveillance video of this mom screaming hysterically, throwing herself on the ground, begging for help, claiming that this ex of hers was threatening her and her kids. She's frantic. She's panicked. That's when cops say her ex takes off and leads everyone on a wild car chase with the little toddler, this woman's little toddler, in the back seat. You can see the suspect swerving lanes, losing control, then boom, ultimately, watch this, boom, right into a chain link fence. But the chase gets even wilder. I've got to warn you, this is extremely graphic. You see this suspect grab the baby by her arm, pull her right into the front seat, and then he starts stabbing himself repeatedly. Stabbing, he's stabbing himself right there. Cops say he was also taunting them, screaming, kill me, kill me, while using this innocent baby as a shield. How terrifying. Eventually, cops were able to break through the back windshield and fire at the suspect holding the baby. Boom. Check this out. Then they pull them both out of the car and they extinguish the fire that started in the front, front left part of the vehicle. They saved that baby's life. Straight out to the lion's den, the baby, we're happy to say tonight, miraculously survived this horrific ordeal. That child recovering from minor injuries to her neck. So, Lisa Lockwood, private investigator, is this cop a hero? Absolutely a hero. The way that cop handled that, I'm going to tell you right now. Um, that was one of the most intense things that I have ever witnessed, and I'm so glad they had camera footage to follow that because police are often under scrutiny for cases like this. But now we actually have a fleeing felon, a crime against a person, an actual abduction, and we could see him using that child as a shield. That police officer had one goal, and that one goal was to take him out, stop that threat immediately, and he proceeded to do so. He's an absolute hero. Cops say they didn't shoot through the window because the glass would have shattered and could have hurt the baby in the process. Even though the suspect was repeatedly taunting them, screaming, kill me, kill me, while stabbing himself out to the lion's den again. Um, was this what you call suicide by cop, Wendy? You know, where somebody wants to end their own life, but being too much of a coward to do it themselves, they take a baby, use the child as a human shield, stab themselves, and then scream to the cops, kill me. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, that's exactly the note I wrote, suicide by cop. The, the curious piece to the story is the baby. I mean, suicide by cop actually happens every once in a while, um, and it's weird. You know, I mean, who, if you want to commit suicide, why make the cops do it? And why not just go do your thing, jump off a bridge? Um, and, in, and in this case, what's weird is if this guy knew he was going to die or wanted to kill himself or wanted the cops to kill him, and he's got this baby there and he's this gruesome anyway as a, as a human being, why didn't he kill the kid? It would have been easy. Um, I'm so glad he didn't. And the injuries to this baby are so disturbing to look at. Um, but, but look, you know, how can you blame a cop for doing anything in that situation? Oh, oh let anything. me say this. And Wendy, I do not blame the cop. Look at the blood. Look at the blood and the scrapings on this little child on her cheek. First of all, I want to go to Romani DeVoslo, psychologist. This is a very young child, a baby, an infant, you might say. Um, will she remember this? Will this traumatize her? Or is she just too young to really understand what was going on? I, I really think that she can be okay. But what's going to be really important is that she's consistently back with her caregiver. The odds of her remembering any of this, very slim. She's very, very young. And so I think for her, it's really consistency, her usual routine, all of that. But someone as young as this, the odds of there being a traumatic fallout from this are pretty slim. I hope you're right. And you know what? We criticize police officers sometimes. We question them sometimes. Uh, but in this case, I agree with our panel. This officer was a hero made a decision in a split second to save this child's life and take out this madman, boom! Way to go!